what is up everybody welcome back to the channel it is your boy q and quick video have you ever had a friend that you were cool with that you liked you know hanging out with and stuff and you kick it and just you know just a good friend and just out of nowhere they do something super dickish and you'd be like whoa bro what the hell i, th I thought we were cool what's going on yeah, well, right now, that's Microsoft, bro. What, what is going on? If you don't know what I'm talking about, about a week or so ago, uh, kind of out of nowhere, Microsoft came out and adjusted the price of Xbox Live Gold from $60 for a year to $60 for six months, which is a 100% price increase. Like. Why? 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 Yeah, I think a lot of people felt blindsided by it and uh, were, I guess, rightfully so, a little ticked off. My personal opinion, I don't know if this is true or not, but I kind of feel like they were doing it to try to push people to Game Pass, which honestly, if you haven't tried Game Pass, I highly recommend it. Lots of games to play. And honestly, just for me, it's the best value. I think in general, it's the best value, man. It comes with Xbox Live Gold and free games but you know i can understand if you already had xbox live gold or you just i know a lot of people who like don't like to be on subscriptions which to me 100 percent understandable sometimes you just don't like once you start to get so many things that are just auto deducting from your check or from your bank account you know sometimes i can see that getting old so maybe they rather just go grab a card you know once a year and pay for it and not have to think about it you know or i've met people who are just like nah i don't want the games i just you know i got a few games i play with my friends online but i don't need the other games you know so if that's you then i mean I, it's pretty understandable. A lot of people came out and let Microsoft know that they weren't too happy about it. So uh, they went ahead and they switched it back. And um, I'm gonna read you real quick the, the, like Phil Spencer put up a statement on Twitter. So I'm gonna read that to you real quick. He said, um, apologies for all the angst and emotion this caused today for our customers. As always, we appreciate the feedback. This is a good learning opportunity for us and we will learn from it. But yeah, I think in general, I think that was the smartest thing you could do is be like, yo, we messed up, we're sorry, we corrected the problem, which is kind of the best thing you can do for customer service. Cause I think just in general, Microsoft has been doing good as far as just like game pass. I think they've earned a lot of credit with people, even with like pushing Halo back. I know they got clowned and there were memes everywhere, but me personally, I respected the hell out of that decision. Cause I would rather the game be right than they rush it. Yeah, it's just a lot of the moves Microsoft has been making, I have been respecting. Game pass and their payment plans, like everything Microsoft doing, feels it was like, like a step in the right direction. Like it's the wave of the future. But now with this, it I, it makes me nervous. So I think I just wanted to make a video, like see how y'all feel. Does it make you a little nervous? Cause I'm, I'm happy that they, you know, took it back and they were just like, yo, like we messed up. But I have a fear that was like a temporary thing. Like we realize right now the system just launched. It's a pandemic, you know, this was a mistake like for right now. But does that mean they have no intentions of ever hiking the price again? Like, does that just mean right now, you know, like we'll let some of our games, some of our big titles like Halo roll out. We'll let, you know, the pandemic ease up some and then, you know, holiday next season or next year or something, all of a sudden it's going to jump again. Or do you think this was just them trying to test the water to see what they could get away with? How, how are y'all feeling about it? Like, I'm, I'm hoping it was just like a, well, we tried it. That didn't work out. Well, we're not going to do it again and not like a, we'll wait and, you know, we'll let y'all, we'll ease y'all into it. I mean, price hikes are just something. I guess that happens, but a hundred percent price increase is a little insane. So let me know what you're thinking in the comments. Do you agree with it? Do you think that, you know, it was like a one and done thing? Do you think this is just a preview of things to come? You know, how are you feeling about it? Yay, nay, what you think? As always, man, thank you guys for watching. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. I love you guys. Don't make it weird. I guess that works.